But first, a night of chaos. Police respond to nearly a dozen illegal car meetups across the city, some turning violent. Now investigators are working to find the people behind the meetups. And good evening, I'm Alicia Roberts in for Aziza Schuler. The wild scenes involved hundreds of cars drag racing and drifting in major intersections. Two people have been arrested and police say they plan to arrest more. CBS News Philadelphia reporter Eva Anderson has the message from officials to those engaging in these car meetups. You can still see the tire marks on the ground here in this parking lot at the 7400 block of Bustleton Avenue. It's where police say Saturday night around 930, 50 cars sped around and caused a disturbance. It was like really, really, really loud. Anna Silva and Isla Bianca were having a sleepover Saturday night when they both heard a commotion coming from the parking lot across the street on Bustleton Avenue. They hear like a zoom, zoom. Outside the window, they saw what police described as a 50 car meetup that became violent. It was a lot of police cars and we were like, what is happening over there? Police say one person tried to drive directly at officers and crashed into another car instead. It was just one of 11 illegal meetups police say occurred between 9.30 Saturday night and 4 a.m. Sunday. They say cars were drifting, drag racing and using fireworks and flamethrowers. They're able to disperse quickly and then reform in other locations. In a press conference Sunday, police said they believe the 11 meetups were part of a coordinated effort organized through social media. There was a meetup near City Hall and another at 25th and Washington Avenue in South Philly. Witnesses say there a man fired off two gunshots. Police say no one was hit, but they recovered a shell casing and an airsoft rifle near the scene. If you look at the timeline of events, they're all about 30 to 45 minutes apart. Police also said they think the participants in these meetups were trying to send a message to police in response to the Parker administration's crackdown on this behavior. We firmly believe that the actions last night were in retaliation of the police department's aggressive actions that we've been taking since Mayor Parker's administration began. But neighbors say this has been happening long before Parker took office. The noise is terrible. I don't know why the police can't stop them. Police say five of their own cars were damaged and they're doing their best. We have your picture. We're coming for you. If you think you got away last night, you didn't. They say they arrested two people from these incidents and there will be more to come. Eva Anderson, CBS News, Philadelphia.